Again, investigators here all across the U.S. are piecing together a timeline. We want to share that with you that they're hoping will help them track down Gabby. And here's what we've been able to determine based on social media posts and interviews. According to the family, Gabby and her fiance, Brian Laundrie, took off on a cross-country road trip. That was July 2nd. And between that date and then the end of August, they posted on Instagram from a number of beautiful locations, Kansas, Colorado, Utah, seeing all the sites. On August 12th, right in the middle of that window, Moab, Utah police responded to this domestic dispute between Gabby and Laundrie. Based on what we hear on the body camera video, they had been fighting. Somebody reported it, they ended up leaving, and then the cops caught up with them. That's where the body camera video came from. Almost two weeks later, on August 25th, one last post on Gabby's Instagram account reads, Happy Halloween. That's also the last day her parents spoke with her. Laundrie returned home to Northport on September 1st, but in the same van that they drove across the country without Gabby now. Ten days later, her family reported her missing. Now, meantime, Laundrie's been refusing to speak with detectives. A retired Tampa FBI agent says there's a puzzle here. Investigators can piece together even without his help. It's just about everything we use these days leaves a digital footprint. Whether you pay with a credit card, um, your phone hitting a cell tower, your... Um, connected device, your Apple Watch, um, you know, hitting a cell tower. So they can pretty quickly put together um, a timeline to see if what they know to be true and what the boyfriend had said in the past is true. Right. The boyfriend, of course, the fiance, Brian Laundrie. Remember the press conference the other day, uh, the police had in Northport, they did say that Laundrie's attorney had turned over his cell phone. So they do have that. His attorneys also said that he's advised Laundrie and his parents to remain in the background and not comment on this case. Well, tonight we also have a major update on the murders of the two women in the town of Moab during the same time that Gabby and Brian were there. Late today, investigators say the murders of the women who were recently married are not related to Gabby's disappearance. One of the women works at the Moonflower Co-op, which is where police were called to investigate the domestic incident involving Gabby and Brian. Well, tonight, police say the two cases, they're not linked, but they did not reveal any new details about the murders of the two women, including whether they have identified any suspects. And while